That's all it is with Ray Ray. Oh, no. L, what's going on? L, you might need to sit here, L. You might need to get man over here. Cause Keisha is popping shit. That, I don't know what's going on. Y'all share this shit to all the discords. I'm just sitting here and I was asked to come on here. We waiting on Keisha to get started, y'all. Oh my gosh. What do you what do you have to do with this Brian? Well, me and him used to, you know, talk. Oh. No, he gonna confirm everything I'm saying is not a lie. Oh, okay. And the reason why I'm saying what I'm saying, because one thing about Keisha, I don't lie about anything. I was okay. nice. I was trying to be a friend and not to spill the real tease what really was going on. But mm -hmm. when you sit on here and tell lies about me, it, you got the game twisted. Oh. Only so thing this man said, only thing this man said about me is true is my name is Ishmael and I was a man. That's the only thing. And that's just something I can say to anybody because I'm from the streets and Ishmael was an icon in these streets. So his name can never be erased. Right. That don't hurt me. I'm not these other type of film. I'm a one type of film queen that you would never ever meet or come across. Right. That nothing to me because it don't stop nothing I do in the streets. Okay. So, <laughs> so, 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 so. Okay, take us take us to the beginning, right? Okay. So all us in about what led to this situation right here. I'm about to give you from the beginning. What happened was me and Ray, Ray okay, me and my ex-boyfriend, Rocky, everyone knows from Philadelphia, me and him was going through some shit. Right. And you know, we, we was having um problems in our relationship. So my son put me on the phone with Ray Ray and told me, his name is Yeti, that Ray Ray have a crush on me and he wants to get, he wants to talk to me. Okay. I get on the phone with Ray Ray, me and him over here chopping it up the day before, me and him over there, that night we was chopping it up, he asked me to come to New York to see him. So I said, you know what, I'm going up there, because you know me and Rocky going to our shit, so I'm going to go to New York and see what this nigga hitting on. So my sister Gigi and Amanda wanted to throw add up, so I took my sisters up there to do what they had to do. So we get to New York City. Ray Ray come, brace me, give me this big old hug, kiss, and all this. Talk about I've been liking you and all this, and boom, boom, bang, bang. So you know, I'm over here chilling. He filled my tank up with gas. He bought me, my sister, Gigi, Amanda, Phil, um, bought us dinner that night and all of that. Bought my sister Amanda weed. He over here spoiling all three of us in the end of the day. You know, everything was cool. I was smiling. I was happy. We were taking pictures. We were looking good. So, yeah. Ray Ray told me that he wanted to take me. This is where Brian coming in. He wanted, I wanted to get my hair curled. He was like, I know somebody who curl hair or whatever the case may be. He took me to Brian's house. Ray Ray said that I have all the problems and all this and all that. Brian, when I came to your house, did you ever smell me? No, ma'am. I smell. And when I came to your house, what did you say? I said, oh, bitch, you giving me Kelly Price back in the day when I used to curl her hair back in Atlanta for the videos and stuff. I said, you giving me very bad. And he was like, oh, you know what? You right, you right. And then we would, me and her was just chopping it up. I curled her hair. And did I cook? No, 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 no. Y no, you didn't cook. Y'all was, you was like, oh, was what, what you got on? You smell good, girl. I said, oh, girl, whatever you got on smell good. Because anybody Never that know no me, they, they know that uh, I'm a perfume and cologne connoisseur. Right. So, yeah, I know a good fragrance when I smell it. So I was like, oh, girl, you smell so good. And I curled her hair and styled her out, and that was it. We chopped it up. They stayed a few, uh, an hour or so, and that was it. And then now all this stuff coming out. Okay, now boom. Oh, hold, so, on, hold on so, one second. Hold on. Hold on one second. Sis. I just got a message. Okay. Somebody, and they said that Ray Ray is on the way over here. He can come. Okay. But let me see. Hold on, but now before you before you come, don't I don't want no interruption because I'm gonna break it I down. Got, I got you. I want to stay receipt. I want to call people names out and everything. So we go from Brian's house, we go to my homegirl house. I mean, to his children's house. Now, now I'm getting introduced to his kids. 
Uh, okay. The first house we go to, yeah. I ended up being, I thought she was a really kid. I liked her. That was Coco. I went to Coco house. She gave me nothing but love. She gave me nothing but love. I, that was one of the best houses I went to. Because the up and all that. Mute yourself real fast, Brian, your background. Oh, I'm going to mute my okay. We had a good time over there and all of that. Right. Okay. All right. So then I go to the bank. Roll out, the red, roll out the red carpet for me. They were very nice for the bank. His mother, they showed me nothing but love. Nothing but love down. We had a good time. We kicked it. We chilled. He was bombing. He was trying to bomb the shoot the Christian. And I said that he was going to give him $100 and give him the rest later. Christian said, no, I need all my money, Grandpa. I told Christian, he ain't got it. Don't sell it to him. When y'all oh. can bring him up here. He what, what, hold on. What, what, was, what was being sold? It was a pair of shoes. Okay. 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 So, mind you, quote by quote, when they weren't paying attention, he sold his Christian Banks gay mother who he stayed with clothes. Bump shit. Hold on, Gold, you, talk about, you talk about Christian Banks face Christian Banks? Yeah. He, who house he stay at? His gay mother, very well dressed, nice. Everything about him. I love everything about both of them. Right. I just met them for like face to face. They like I said, I ain't got no issues with them. They was always good to me. Met them. He stole. They he was selling clothes down over their house and being sneaky. I knew nothing about how he was stealing them or nothing. He made me seem like he, he gave it to him. But I'm gonna get to that too when the phone call started coming to my telephone about how much of a bum this nigga is. Oh. So boom, second step. Here we go. So then we go to um to the neighborhoods where Kelly from. In the hood. He brought me to Kelly family house where he said where they was just calling Kelly Pops. That's how I know about Pops. They was calling me Kelly Pops in the hood in the project. I'm in a project over here, up in there, playing space, chilling, kicking it with the dudes, all that. He giving like bitch, you really shit, giving me all that. Right. Like, you know, they ain't speak you or nothing at the family house kicking it. I called the sister because he told father that the sister them said they were smelling me. But then when I got on the phone, had all them on the phone, they said, Hell no, you smell good. And I can get them on here with that too. Okay. I don't care about nothing. I do. They was different. that's how I knew about Big Pops. That's how I got Kelly's address. He took me to Kelly's house. Cause oh, I said oh, I oh, might oh, oh, need oh, it for a rainy day. You say you saying Ray Ray took you to Kelly's house? Yeah, for a rainy day. I needed that address because I never knew in case anything kick off, which we ain't Kelly's cool now. Okay. You know, it wasn't no kick off or nothing. But you know, it's always good to have something for a rainy day. Right. So at that time or whatever, he was breaking it down to me about everybody and everything. So me and him started kicking it. I get a phone call. When I came back from to DC, I get a phone call from Japan. Okay. Well, hold on. Japan icon. Oh, hold on. Yeah, I what, what Japan are you talking about? One way icon Japan, okay. Mr. Raihi Chanel. Okay. Okay. We just get son. Okay. He gives me a phone call. With a drag queen that he, um supposed to be his daughter and son. Japan calls me, breaking it down to me. Where is Ray Ray? He just stole our money. He just tried it. He just turned us. He did all this and all that. They 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 he smoked, he stole all the drugs. He smoked the shit all up. And you call him on the hold on, Keisha. What drugs did he steal from Japan? Tina. A bag of Tina. So I said, well, Ray Ray's at his son's house, which is my son's house. He said, who, Yeti? That's not his son. They was fucking. I said, what? Okay, so. I'm daddy now. Who was the, oh. Yeti. Who was the son? So, Japan told me, yeah, you didn't know about Ray Ray? His asshole is like a tunnel. They call him the Tino Tunnel. But. It's so open and so trash that everybody destroyed it, and only thing he got left going is to eat the meat for beef. 
So I said, I'm listening to all this. Then I found out that Brian, a film queen, had a threesome right before I came to New York. Bro, so hold on, hold on. Brian, you saying he got cauliflower? He got a cauliflower butt? <laughs> Baby, don't play with me. So let me go to this. Tick, tick, you've been in my house. Right. I, I always came for money. I've never been dirty. I always keep myself up. It's like, you can't spin the narrative to nobody else about Keisha. But let me finish the breaking you down. Break it so all the way down, please. Time, I, get a, I get another telephone call about where is he at with my stuff? It's Coco and the, the um the gay mother, Christian Banks gay mother, going off about all his clothes that this man has stole out of his house. I felt so bad. I told this man to take that boy his stuff back. Why would you steal your people's clothes? That's bum shit. He said to me, they gonna wait on my time. I said, no, he ain't he can rush you because it's his time because you should have never stole his stuff. Come to find out where I was like, I found out that Danny posted this disrespected my girl Coco. I told my girl Coco, I was step to Danny for you about your watch, but she said, No, I asked my father Ray Ray to step to him, but he over here instead of stepping to him, kissing his ass, dapping him up, showing him love. I said, What? Bitch, are you insane? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me unmute. Um, um, Ray, 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 Ray. Hello. You wanted this thing talking? No, I was just saying I'm in my shop. Oh, your shop? Me and my sister. Oh, okay. Co-owners. Co-owners. That's the truth. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, you can move me back up. Asking, what does Christian? But, every, so, but everything she's saying is the truth. They asked, so, what does Christian so, have to do with this? He don't have nothing to do with it. Oh, That's my best. I mean, he showed me nothing but love. He gave me nothing but grace. He rolled the red carpet. He treated me love. He has nothing to do with anything. Him or his mother or um um the daughter I just was saying, Coco. They all showed me nothing but love. I'm just showing you how cold blooded this faggot is. Okay. So I'm so then. He wanted to have sex with me. Catch this. Ray Ray is a very attractive young man. Thank you, Tyson. Ray 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 nice size. Ray when he took off, I was just breaking him down for it. When he took off his clothes, Ray Ray had sores all over his body. Ray Ray had syphilis. I know for a fact that he had syphilis because I know what it looks like. He had syphilis. I told Ray Ray. I told Ray Ray, I, 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 this is when a mother's side came out on me. I broke him down. I said, I said, I said, babe, you might, we got, we, I go with you, but you got to be taken care of, or whatever the case may be. I never told a soul about it. I never told no one about it why I never had sex with him. And he told, he was begging my kids why she won't have sex with me. I, I, he poured his meat out in front of all for GG and them try to get me that. Um, I I never told no guy the reason why because I'm not that type of person because that was supposed to be for the son. So I would never have played him and disrespected him. When you come for my character, I don't, I don't play when no one come for my character. And if anybody know him, y'all know I'm not lying. So I seen the stores and stuff all over his body. That's why I never had it. That's why I didn't want to sleep in the bed with Ray Ray. And that's why he used to wake me up when I slept on the couch to ask Gigi could co-sign for this to tell me to come sleep in the bed with him. But if I was all this dirty and stuff, why would you wake me up to come sleep in the bed with you? Why are you trying to have sex with me? You get it? Did that make sense? Okay. But like he said, we never went together. That's true. Okay. Because after I left New York, that's where I went back home to. Ooh. My man. Okay. To Rocky. The same nigga okay. who disrespected you. The same nigga who carried you and bit you on the phone with me. And you was copying your pleas. Stop playing with me. 
You ain't built like that. Stop, stop what you're doing. Ray Ray, you would you don't like me acting aggressive because I was more of aggressive than you was. But see, I'm comfortable. No one can knock me down or how 